five years ago, I heard of the mystery of McCoy Springs. I gotta test this thing out, make sure there's no holes in it. I oh. forgot the most important thing is actually a roll of Gorilla Tape. I don't even remember the last time I went backpacking. Yeah, we've got a really long way to go. Probably like four hours. I just have to find where this freaking thing is. Whoa! God. Whoa, that's freaking sand. I freaking went the wrong way again. Every three corners, I'm going the wrong direction. Oh my gosh. I don't know, I was going north, but I made a wrong turn and... The signs are a lot of times no help. This to there. I'll try to take some sort of shortcut here. I don't know, this thing said there was some road. This shortcut is now transpired into me driving through the desert, following a line. The map's not loading, but all that green, yeah, that's me. That's like miles of going in the wrong direction. I'm like looking at the book. I'm looking back at the GPS. I'm looking back in the book. I'm looking back at the freaking GPS and I don't even know. We got out here. Eventually it was so late. I was just so tired. Oh. Yeah, of course, perfect time for there to be a hole in my sleeping pad. I'm like navigating on this thing. I'm like driving just based on this GPS. How wild is that? I'm like, oh yeah, go right here. Seems like a good idea. This guy's done this to me before in this book, okay? It's not the first time. He sent me in the wrong type of situation. <laughs> Sometimes if you want to bring some duct tape, it's actually a little life hack. You could wrap your, wrap your duct tape around your water bottle. And then you don't have to bring a whole thing of duct tape with you. The one thing you can never bring enough of, I think, when you're out in the desert, is water. If we're going out for one night, me and Taya, we probably got, we probably each have, we each have at least one gallon. You can see already there's no sign of anything behind us where we came from. She spotted something. We don't know what it was, but she saw an animal. Here we see one digging itself into the sand so it could stay moist. It's starting to heat up. Oh, fuck. One thing I forgot about with these dog backpacks is that your dog probably might need shoes because the extra weight on your dog's feet on rocks like this and that are hot, it's gonna hurt your dog's feet. And I forgot how you can make your own set of dog shoes from a sock, some Gorilla Tape, and a Swiss Army knife. Oh, I don't wanna carry her. She's really not very lightweight. Where is she? So you're going to take your sock like this, you're going to cut it right in the middle this way, long, you're going to cut it this way, okay? I'm going to put this on here, okay? And what I would actually suggest, just cover the bottom of the sock. Um, once you put it on the dog's foot, then wrap it around on the top to get it to hold, but these thin strips, once you get your thin strips, these are kind of going to be like your shoelaces. So I suggest you're gonna wrap it around the bottom here, or kind of like above. Now don't make it too tight. Come on. So she is like protesting for a few minutes. Come on. Mama, come on. You just gotta give her a little bit of pressure. And when she comes along, she's rolling with the flow now. Now this dog, 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago, was lagging behind. Then out of nowhere, something grabs you and it starts pulling you towards another spot. I really don't even know why I'm going this direction. 
It's like super steep and loose. Jesus, it's Christ. Whoa! 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 Oh my God. This energy is pulling us over here. Either that or we're just listening to heavy metal and trance music. I don't know which. That's an ancient Indian trip. Someone's telling me we gotta go over here, folks. I don't even know why. I've done it before. I haven't found anything, but I'm gonna keep doing it anyways, okay? This is the type of place you don't want anything bad to happen. You got no emergency beacon, no radio. Nobody really knows where the hell I am right now. Maybe they have a general idea, but oh man, this is not a place to get hurt, my friends. But look at this cactus, mama. Just look at this thing. Oh, mama! There's some powerful energy over here. And also a solar power plant in the distance, but besides that, some powerful energy, folks. It's crazy, folks. Whoa! There's a hole in there. Someone dug in this mountain top trying to find gold but they didn't know that there was gold in this mountain top of a different kind energy i don't know why we went so far up that hill or whatever there was really nothing much up there except the big hole in the ground but it made this seem a lot more impressive there's like petroglyphs everywhere See, look at Taya, she can feel the energy. She's laying down here. Hi, baby. Get out in the desert, find some petroglyphs, meditate. Yes, meditate. There's literally petroglyphs everywhere. It's freaking crazy. I woke up with petroglyphs on my chest. It's the weirdest phenomena. I don't know how it happened. Oh wait, no, it's that stupid hippie shirt I was wearing it. The hippie shirt wore off on my chest. But yeah, here we are, just took a little nap. Oh my God. It was exhausting, it was hot. fruits there's these little fruits growing on these bushes here ow ow it poked me out and so it's been a good trip but we have such a small amount of water we gotta head back but you know it just wasn't meant to be we wanted to stay we planned on camping but the universe the cave art sites had other things in mind so We'll take a couple pictures on the way out. There's some other petroglyphs down here. Yeah, if you look around, there's just like a lot of these little rocks have petroglyphs on them.
Look at her go. Oh man, it's hard running with a backpack on. Oh my God. No, for real though, it's really hard with this huge backpack running. So I'm hoping Taya knows where the hell she's going because she's been leading the way this whole time back. I haven't looked at the GPS once. And to be honest, everything looks exactly the same out here. You sure you know where you're going, Ma? Are you sure? Finally, out of the horizon, I could see the car. Oh my God. It was like 12 or 13 miles, holy crap. And that midway burst of like spiritual excitement energy, man, that caught up to me later. Woo, that tired me out. Man. But it was awesome. Oh my god, it was freaking awesome.